Okay, so let's get it going. We're gonna actually start with our inchworm today. So I just want us to lean over towards those toes, walk those hands out to a plank, go down low for a push up, bring it up, rotate each direction and walk it back up. We're gonna go again, take it all the way out, isolate your glutes, isolate your core in that plank position, rotate each way and come on back up, do a few more. Be intentional with that stretch of the hamstrings as you're getting, when your hands are close to your feet. You wanna warm those up, so kind of give it a hang right there, stretch out the back as well. These are so good for stretching our back, oh, warming up our core, get a little chest stretch in that rotation, stretching out those legs. Woo. At the end of this one, we'll come on up. Good, nice work. And we're gonna go into some drops and lifts. So down low in that wide sumo, maybe up on those tippy toes, right? Down low, reaching up. Down and up, good. Now we're gonna reach across with one hand and reach it up. So take one hand over by that opposite foot. Start to feel that in those thighs. Reaching over, reaching up. We're gonna have some good butt work today. Lifting, reach and lift. One more, reach and lift. I want to open up the hips with some hip circles. So kind of just draw a circle with your knee. And then take it the other direction. You got it. Good. Okay, let's switch sides. Switch legs. Just taking your big circle right here. And going the other way. Nice. Now, let's engage our oblique transverse abdominals give me a good pull right here giving a crunch at the side lifting that knee to the side couple more and switch we want to keep our abs in our shoulders dropped balanced so you're not falling over on that leg right you're just lifting nice and strong through the core good awesome and take it into reverse lunge. Reach up high. You got that. Good. Woo. Reach those arms up. Start bringing a little heat into, the, into your body, into your legs. And we're gonna add a rotation over that front leg. Rotate and rotate. You got it. Nice. Four more. Three two, and one. Moving into a lateral lunge, step out wide, reach it over, step out wide. We already started warming up those thighs on the sumo reach. Now we're just deepening that stretch, pushing your butt to the back. You also get the advantage right here of hip Keep going, uh, this hip move right here, which is gonna warm up your back, your lower back. Okay, now we're gonna take it into a single leg reach, opposite hand reaches across the body toward the foot. So same hand as your moving leg. And you wanna try to be slow on the way back. We're not resting this move, we're alternating legs. Good, you got it. Got some squeaky boards in my floor right here. <laughs> okay, let's go for heels. Touch those heels. Nice, you got it. Lift them up, lift them up. We're gonna use all those leg muscles, so I'm making sure they're good and warm and bring those heels in front of us. 
Today we're going to do five minute sets. Some of them we'll do every minute together, like one exercise per minute. And we'll just flow from one minute to the next. And then some of them we'll do an AMRAP. All right, speed skaters. A little more cardio right here. Give me a push and a push. So the AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So when we do those sets, those are gonna be about the core. We have full body work today, but a big emphasis on the lower body. Reaching up, reaching up. Four, three, two. Now give me that front. Stretch it. Back. Stretch. So a few that are more of a stretch, and then start your pace up, run. Pace it up, run. A little more energy and power right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Give me four more. Pick up your pace. And after four of those, then I want you to start a few lateral moves. So we'll start going side to side, crossing over, front back, front back, or something along that line, right? Oh, it's a coordination here in the morning. Woo, you got it. All right, one more. And nice work. Take your inhale, exhale. We're gonna remove, roof. We're gonna move right into the body of our workout. So I'm grabbing the timer. It's gonna be those five minute sets. I need you to get one weight. If you have a heavy, lighter option, go heavy. You're gonna take that one weight. You're gonna hold it in your right hand, right hand, and you're gonna take your right leg back in a lunge. So you're gonna be going right here, and then step up, and low lunge, step up. All right, so let me get the timer going, and I'll get us all going. All right, ready? Here you go. So you're just gonna stay on the same leg. Now, after you've done a few, I want you to try to balance and lift that knee. And go low in between. Drop that lunge a little lower. Good. So for your like starting position, your feet are about hip width apart, not together to take them apart a little bit, and then go straight back with that leg. So you don't want those knees to ever touch. Keep going. Looks good. Remember, it's just a lunge back and a lift. <laughs> I lost my balance on that one, showing it to you from the side. Woo, good. This one weight gives us an uneven hold. Five seconds. Just remember you had your, which uh, you had it in your right hand, right? Grab both weights, maybe if you can hold them. We're going right into a goblet squat. So we're just gonna squat and stand, and squat and stand. I wanna add a slight pelvic squeeze as you come up. So pelvic tilt, butt squeeze actually. Low and squeeze, and down and lift. You got that. Low, squeeze, good. Down and squeeze. Nice. Awesome job. Woo. We got about 12 seconds to go. Keep going. You'll need to put one weight down after this one. All right, put one weight down <laughs> and hold the other one right here. Wide sumo, push press, bring it up. Wide press out and in. Now you can make this flow a little bit. Right, you can make it flow. Good, very important, keep going. Very important that you pull in at the abs and so you don't arch your back. You want it um, good. Try to keep the pressure off your back. If it's really bothering anyone's back, then do your squat and stand it up and go here. 
So if it's too much to be in your low sumo, then do the press out standing and that might help. You got it. Okay, we're gonna stay low, pump it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Weighted burpee overhead press. Grab both weights, burpee back, walk or jump, straight arms, bring it in, overhead, let's go. Taking it down to the ground, taking those feet back, bring it in. Now, if you were not jumping, you could go back, back, in, in, overhead press. Keep going. Good. We have one minute of these. Nice and strong plank when you jump back. That's part of it, right? So jump into a plank. I mean, you don't have to be full out plank, but get those legs pretty far back. Good. Awesome job. Way to go. Stretching it back. You got it. Woo! Weighted burpee, overhead press. Last one. All right, we're gonna do one more exercise in this set. So let's put our right leg in front. We're gonna, or we're gonna step with our right leg into a lunge, into a warrior three, back into your lunge, same leg. Lunge, lift, lunge, back, go, good. I'm gonna watch a few. So I want that lunge to be part of the, so there's two lunges that happen. After your lift, you hit your lunge again before you press back. Lunge, lift, lunge, and back. Don't just step straight back, right? You got it. Good. Pay attention to which leg you're on because we'll do the other one in our next set. Last one. Ah, nice work. Okay, you can grab a drink real quick. We're going to start that next set in about 30 seconds. So not a long break, but a bit of one. And then we'll do that um, rack on the other one. So last time we held it in our right hand. And this time we'll hold it in our left. It's the same hand as the moving leg. So you'll be taking it reverse lunge and lift, right? Okay, we are ready for that. Three seconds and we go, starting our new, our second round. Here you go, low, and just hit a few, getting your balance, taking it low, and then start that knee lift. Take it low, hit your knee lift. Down low, up high, good. Abs are balance and control. You got it. Nice work. Good. So good. So good. You have 30 seconds. I know that's a lot on one leg. I know. I know it is. But you've got this. Making an adjustment on my timer watch right there. Making sure. Hold us steady like we need to be. We have 13 seconds. Then we'll go into our goblet squat again. On this one, if you're able, you grab both weights. Last one. Okay, grab your weights. Going into goblet squat. Right? Ready? Squat and squeeze. Squat, squeeze. Remember, we're given a slight tilt as we come up. Feel the core contract, feel the glutes contract, both of them. Put your brain into the muscles. You got it. Woo. Ah, nice job. Woo. A little tilt. The one after this is that wide sumo push press. So you have to put a weight down. Well, I guess you wouldn't have to, but 
It's probably best. Last one. Now put one weight down. I'm always a little awkward with that switch to the single hand right there. Okay, sumo out and in. Lift it up. Take it low. Part of this is your squat, so take it as low as you can. Ah, look at that weight. Focus on it and follow it. Follow it with your eyes. Good. That'll help you control. Okay, we're going to go down and hold and pump it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, hips tucked under, 4, 3, 2, 1, back to it. If you start noticing your lower back, it may be that you're getting lazy with that, with your butt, and you want to tuck those hips under good and tight. So just a little reminder from the brain. One more. Ah, grab that weight, overhead press, burpees. Straight arm burpees, overhead press. So jumping back to our plank, jumping in, pressing up. You can always do a walk back to your plank, a walk in, and a press. And if we have some people who really struggle with the uh, down and back, just take a deadlift and an overhead press. But if you can do the burpee, go for the burpee. I want you to burpee back. You're doing amazing. Good. Nice job. Way to go, guys. That looks so, so good. Nice, solid planks. Good job. Woo, way to go. Nice, Judy. Looks good, Bonnie. Yeah. Good plank there, Deb. Way to go. Last one. Okay, we're doing our lunge. So you need to do it on the other leg, probably your left. So you're just gonna do your lunge and your warrior three and your lunge and your back. And we stayed on the same leg, remember? So you're on your opposite leg for you. It's probably your left. Get a good, um, every move I want it to count. So low lunge. Lift up and balance, low lunge, push back. You got it. Lift and balance. Awesome. Keep going. That looks good. Nice. Take your time on the reverse as well as on the way down. Solid. Looks good. Seven seconds to go. Oh, last one. Woo, good work. Put those weights down. Grab your drink. I'll tell you what we're doing next. So next, we're going to do one of those AMRAP sets, as many rounds as possible. So this means you just keep going through. We only have three exercises, so easy to remember. We're starting with plank saws, and our count is going to be 20 reps, so 20 of these. I know that's a lot, right? 20 reps. Then we're going to turn it over and we're going to do 20 penguins. One, two, three, four. If your neck bothers you on these, take your hand behind the head and stay on one side for 10 and then the other side for 10. This would be a base of support. Then it's 20, 20, 10. You have 10 wipers total. So on the first set, do them like this and don't use your weight. Then if you want to, on other sets, you could hold, you'll have to hold both weights um, to balance out your legs, and you can take your arms side to side. All right, so we're going to start with plank saws. Plank saws. This set goes for five minutes also, but you just keep repeating. All right, so plank saws for 20. Ready? Let's go. So before we even start our saw, we squeeze our glutes and thighs. You're counting because you're going for your 20. Right? And we stay so tight so that only happens is the front back moves. And go ahead and make it big, front and back, even though you're counting to 20. Push it big. When you're done with that, you'll flip it over to your penguins and you'll reach, look up at the ceiling, keep a uh, tennis ball size between your chest and your chin as you reach side to side. 
remember any neck strain, just let the head, I mean, the, yeah, the head rest in the hand, let the hand support stay on one side for 10. After that, you'll go into wipers. Now, these are so good for our core, but for some of us, our back may not be ready for them or we may have some limitations. And so if that's true for you, just bend your knees right here and try the same thing. So either one, as soon as you're done with them, you start over on your plank saws, right? So plank saws, your count on these wipers though, remember, is only 10, not 20. So it's 20, 20, 10. So 10 wipers, and then you go back to 20 plank saws. Nice, good, you're looking good. Maybe you wanna mix it up on this set and do your weights when you get to wipers. You guys are looking awesome. Nice job, Amy. Good solid plank on those plank saws. I like it. I like how we're, I can tell that we're isolating in our midsection right here. So 20 plank saws, 20 penguins, and 10 wipers. You've already done two minutes, that's so, so good. We have a five minute set, so lots of strong core right here. Just stay with it. Pull those abs in on every move you can on your penguins. Tighten up, keep your shoulders dropped, slight tilt of the hips. I'm going to use my weight for my, this set of wipers. Really, this is one of my favorite exercises that we, I always have to remind us that our legs are the primary mover, not our arms. When we add in weight, a lot of times people try to take the arms to the floor. That's not what we're doing here. We're taking the legs to the floor. Oh, <laughs> but these weights, you want them to kind of visualize that it's a bar, and so you wouldn't drop the bar to the floor, right? You would keep it level. You're doing amazing. Woo! You guys are so strong. If we have any newer friends, this might be a ton of ab work for you. You might need to cut your numbers in half. I know the group I'm working with, I can see that you might be getting a little tired, but you have totally got this. You're pushing through it. You're gonna make it. We're using different movement patterns in our core. So we have anti-rotation, when we're doing that um, plank saw. So we have stabilization as a core, our stabilizer muscles. And then we have, we're have we keeping them stable while our body moves front and back. Then on our penguins, we have lateral flexion um, going straight to the side. We start using our rotational muscles on the wipers so I love that our core works so many different ways. We wanna strengthen every part of it. Y'all, you have 25 seconds to go. I need you to finish strong for me. Good, nice job. Is it good, Camille, way to go. You got it. Seven seconds. Nice. Uh, take your breather. You guys are done with that set. Way to go. Okay. Bring it back up. We're going to do another five minute set. It'll be similar to what we did at the first different exercises, of course. So the very first exercise, we're going to do that single leg reach. And when we come up, we're going to hit a bicep curl, single arm bicep curl. Then we'll do it with the other arm and then we'll do it with both arms. So we'll go single, single, double. That'll be our first exercise. 
A dumbbell swing with both weights will be second. And you can do both weights. The third exercise will be squat and lunge with a tricep. Squat and lunge with a tricep with your weight. Um, I'll tell you the other two in a minute. <laughs> it's too much to remember, right? Okay, so let's start with our um, single leg reach. Single leg reach. Both weights holding in your hands right here. Okay, so just like we did before, reach it over, bring it up and curl, and then do the other arm, same leg, single, single, double arm. Good, so you got your hammer curl going. Keep those abs in. We'll change legs halfway through on this one. Got it. Okay, we're gonna change legs. Just keep flowing with single, single, double, but change your legs. Awesome work. That single arm actually throws your weight off, makes your core work. Okay, on the remainder, we're gonna do both arms. Go, both arms. Keep the elbows down, hammer curl. One more. Good. Now we're going into a dumbbell swing. If you can use both weights, use them. If not, one is good. And do what works for you. Flowing from the hips right here. Remember this move. So this is a Russian style that just comes up about halfway. It's all from that top of the hips. So like our bridge motion on the ground, it's the same thing, but with more of a pop. So that is working our back. We keep our abs in. Yeah, good. So even though you bend your knees, it's more of a hip drive than a squat, right? Good, that looks awesome. Nice job. You have 20 seconds to go. Maybe you can pick your pace up on this last step. The last 15 seconds, right? You got it. Five seconds. Okay, if you can keep those two weights for triceps, I want you to, right? Lift them up right here. We're gonna go reverse lunge, tricep, bring it up, side squat, go. So lunge back, same leg, and squat. When you squat, you just bring it down to your chest. You got it. Good. Woo! Nice work. Okay, we're gonna switch legs after this one. Go. So even though we have a big emphasis on the lower body today, we are working through those muscles. Biceps, triceps, back and chest, shoulders. We're throwing it all in. You got this, eight seconds, almost there. Woo! Oh, nice. Okay, we're going into man makers. That's why I didn't tell you what was next. So go with me, down and back, push up, row and row, jump it in, bicep curl, overhead press. If you didn't start, start now. Take it down and back. So it's a weighted burpee. It adds a push up. It adds a row on each arm. It adds a bicep curl and an overhead press. Keep going, down and back, push up, row, row, curl and press. Your pace, good. Good, you wanna get each arm on that row. And remember, if the jump doesn't work for you, then um, just step it back or you can do your deadlift option, but you'll still have to, if you don't go all the way down, you just hit some rows. Good, keep it going, you're almost done. Five seconds. Nice. Okay, now I want you to go ahead and take this band and put it on your lower legs. If you don't have a band, no worries. Extra brain work, extra brain work for you. All right, so I'm gonna do a side step. 
um, keep your abs in. I'm starting that timer over. Okay, so keep your abs in, keep your shoulders dropped. Now we're just gonna step barely right and left. So out wide, but barely in, that's what I should say. Out wide, barely in. So I'm not bringing my foot all the way in where it takes the tension off. And I'm staying in a half squat. Good. Yeah, you feel this already squeezing hips and butt. Good. Now we're gonna go four to the right. So just take four steps or your left, whatever direction, who cares, right? Keep going. One way, four steps, and then the other. You got it. So we're doing a full minute of these steps. Good. If you didn't have a band, you could grab some weights and just put a little extra load on your body if you felt like you needed it. Almost there. We're gonna take it back the other way. And then we're gonna start into some glute be, uh, legs behind. So just lift and squeeze. All I have going is a squeeze right here. So just lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. Tighten up this whole area. That's where you're working from. Now we're gonna stay on the same leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Abs are in two, that'll protect your back. Four, three, two, switch, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch, five, four, three, two, switch, go, five, four, three, two, and switch. Okay, knee lift in front, lift in front. Try not to lean with the body. Oh, ow. <laughs> Ah, all right, one side, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, switch, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, done. Okay. I need you to waddle over to your mat, have a seat on it, keep that band there. You're gonna lift the hips and we're gonna pull. So lift the butt in the bridge. Feet are fairly close, hips are lifted and march and march and lift and lift. Keep your butt up. If you need to any time, just take a short break and come right back up. Okay, same leg, 10 nine, heel tap, eight, so tap the heel down in between, you got it, five, four, three, two, oh. switch, go, 10, uh-oh, my band started sliding, I know, sometimes that happens, you keep going, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift right here, Take the feet wider, lift the hips. I want you to go out and in, and out and in, out, in, four, three. So we're staying lifted. We're just taking our legs out a little bit and in. Now take that band and put it on right above your knees, about four inches above your knees. And come back to the bridge and the same thing. It's just slightly different in the muscles cut it isolates. So out and in and out and in. You got it. And we're gonna pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're gonna turn it to our side and do those clams. These are actually good with even without a band, but we're going to do them with the band. So we're just going to open and close right here. So don't move anything except your legs. Knee comes up toward the ceiling, right back down. 
You got it. Good. Abs are in. Trying to face forward. We got two more. And we're going to switch sides. Nice work. Switch sides. Bring it over. Bend those knees. You can rest your hand on your head if you like. And just close. I got to keep my AirPods from falling out on me. Good. Isolate right here. Two more, one and two. Nice job. Okay, that's all we're using the band for right now. Take it off. So we have one more AMRAP set, as many rounds as possible. This one is about the core again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with plank jacks, just 10 of them, and then we're gonna go into plank knee tap or maybe your shin or maybe your ankle but in between you go right back to a plank so pull out plank tap back back to your plank and tap back you're going to do 10 of each of those then you're going to flip it over and you have v up and you have side plank so side planks we're going to do a rotation right here 10 of them each side so 10 V-ups, and if V-ups bother your back, do a double crunch instead of a full up V-up, all right? So I'll talk you through those. We start with plank jacks. So we have plank jacks, um, plank taps, V-ups, and side plank rotation. All right, five minutes. This is our last thing, guys, going hard. All right, ready? <laughs> Plank jacks. I forgot what we were ready for. Go. Right here. So keep a low plank as much as possible. Then you're going to go plank, knee tap, plank, two, three, or whatever count you're on. Maybe reach a little lower towards your legs as you feel your body get warmer. After you've done 10 of those, you're going to turn it over. Go for V ups. Remember your option right here if it bothers your back. This would be the lower back better option. After that one, you're going to go into those side plank rotations. So I'll show you level one with my bottom knee bent. Level two, I would have both legs straight. And I would have my top leg in front, level three, both legs are just stacked. So you have 10 of these each side, 10 of those each side, and then you start over and go back to your plank jacks. On these rotational twists in the side plank, you wanna make sure that you um, don't pull on the head and that it's more about the full rotation of the trunk, right? So uh, sometimes I see people doing really fast and they're just like yanking their head around and whipping their shoulders or their neck. It's not about that. It's about what's happening in the midsection. Remember, plank jacks is where you start. Plank jacks, plank taps, V up, and side planks. I was watching this for a sec. Those look so, so good. Good. This is a five minute set and you're already on minute three. You're doing amazing. Nice job, Susan, going into your plank in between. I love that. That looks good. Way to go. Good. Yeah, some of us are modifying for different reasons but everybody is pushing hard that is exactly what needs to happen oh. 
I love that our bodies are all created differently. And at this stage of life, whatever stage you're at, if you're older than 30, then you probably have a few injuries, a few things thrown off, a few things you're trying to overcome. And so you got to work from that place. The cool thing in my field is I get to see people with a lot of limitations work past those limitations and get so much stronger and feel better for everything they're doing. That's what it's about, right? It's not about this hour today. It's about the rest of the hours all day, right? You remember your exercises? I was getting forgetful. I'll remind you. Plank jacks, plank knee taps, V up, side planks. Woo! Minute 15 to go. You're doing awesome. Y'all, it's our last minute right here. Come on, what do you have? You might be, your body's feeling tired, your mind might get a little lazy. No, tell yourself, you have this. We are all capable of more than we think. So strong. 20 seconds. Crush this last 20. Come on, five seconds. Finish it. If you need to even up your sides, go for it. You can even up your sides. We're just going to rest after this. Woo! That was amazing. I don't want you to leave today with one side all good and the other side, you know, all floppy. Just kidding. Okay, let's take both knees to one side. Speaking of the side, we'll look over that opposite direction. You know, we have yoga tomorrow at 625. Ooh, Susan's going to lead it for us tomorrow. Ah, she did an awesome job. Take the knees and the visual the other way. She did an awesome job last week if you happen to join us. So good. So that's a great time to stretch these bodies out. Pull in close right here. One thigh up. Pulling it in towards your body. Stretching your hamstring. Yeah, we did a lot of that. A lot of hamstring work. Okay, switch legs. Oh. Are you like me? One side is always tighter. My left hamstring is always so tight. I do my right one and I think, oh, I'm good today. Then I switch sides. I'm like, what? Uh, all right, now we're going to bend that knee. Keep holding that left thigh. Take the right ankle, cross it over. Pull in nice and close. Take that other arm and gently push away. So my right arm's pushing my right thigh away from the body. I like to roll slightly toward the left or toward the leg I'm holding. Feel that deep gluteal stretch. Now, because we did so much back and hips and thighs, keep your feet crossed just like they are. Bring that right leg over to the ground and look over your right shoulder. The right leg's going to the left side. If yours is the opposite way, just make sure you look the opposite direction. Yeah, that's right. So one of my feet is flat on the ground, but I still have my legs crossed like I did in that four position. And keeping them crossed, just bring them back to the other side and look the other way. This one's more of a back stretch. Feels so good. All right, we're gonna switch legs. Left ankle over right knee, pull the right thigh into the chest nice and close. Roll slightly to the right hip. Take that left elbow, push away on the left thigh. Holding right there. 
Now we're going to take that left foot all the way over to the ground. Look over the opposite shoulder. And bring it across the other way. Oh, feel that deeper stretch in the back. Nice work. Uh, back to the center. I'd love to do one more leg stretch. So take a leg behind you and give a nice gentle pull back. You're going to feel the stretch in the quadricep, the front of the thigh. If it's too much, then you have a towel handy. You could wrap it around your ankle. Sometimes if people grab the back of their tennis shoe, like at the heel, um, right inside the back of the heel, so that they give a little extra space. Okay, let's turn over and go the other way. Pulling it back behind. And sometimes for people, just to put the leg right here bent with it on the ground is enough. So do whatever you need today. Now we also did a lot of abs, so let's take it to our tummy. Hands under the chest, just press up into that upward dog stretch, which is a big stretch for the abs. I know you also feel it in your lower back. And if it bothers you in your lower back, you can go to your elbows and get the same stretch. And tuck those toes, walk all the way in right here, hang right there. Oh, nice work. Take it all the way up. Give me a big inhale and an exhale. Nice job. Bye, Amy, you did awesome. Have a good Bye. Day. Bye. You guys are so amazing. Way to work today.